The North Carolina Zoo has been involved for more than a decade in the West African nation of Cameroon in a project aimed at saving that country's dwindling elephant population. Now the zoo has taken on another cause on the Nigerian-Cameroon border involving the planet's most endangered species of grade ape. Poaching and shrinking habitat have reduced the Cross River Gorilla's numbers to less than 300. Now North Carolina Zoo Curator of Research Dr. Rich Burgle is leading a research team bent on saving this shy and reclusive ape from extinction. The Cross River Gorillas are one of Africa's most endangered primates and with only about 300 of them left, they're under significant pressure. And the most important thing is to find out information about these gorillas that can be used to conserve them. The gorillas occur almost exclusively in very rugged terrain, very inaccessible terrain. Gorillas make nests to sleep in, and they actually do look something like a bird's nest. They take vegetation and wind it around into a circle with a depression in the middle. What we have right here is a gorilla nest. Every night, gorillas make a nest like this that they sleep in, and this is one of the ways that we do research on these animals. We locate the nests where they sleep, we count them, we take samples of their dung for genetic analysis, and we use them to monitor the gorilla's movements. Through the efforts of Dr. Burgle, the North Carolina Zoo, and its conservation partners, the Cross River Gorilla may stand a chance for survival. If you'd like to learn more about the Cross River Project, please check out the zoo's educational website at fieldtripearth.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for The Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.